Good morning. I did start doing a video there and some people walked past and I got shy and stopped. So, um, another thing my mentor said to me in a recent conversation was about giving myself five KPIs, key performance indicators. Um, the reason she said this to me was because um, I was talking about something that's common with people that go self-employed and that's spending quite a lot of time procrastinating but you're kind of always thinking about work and you're either working or you're feeling guilty because you're not working. Um, but yeah, she really got me to realise that the things I'm doing at the minute are working and they'll slowly build up. And, you know, I can't expect, like, just some massive boom in business. But things are slowly but steadily growing in the right direction. So, she said, look, give yourself five key performance indicators. So, they're basically, you know what, some people talk about having non-negotiables. Like, a lot of people, it used to be me, it isn't at the moment, a non-negotiable would be... They go to the gym three times a week, no matter what. Um, so she's giving me sort of like, you know, this task of thinking about this. And to be honest, they're quite small. They're quite small tasks, really. Things like maybe speak to five different people about massage. Post in three groups a week. Um, the important thing with them is they're things... You're not supposed to be aiming too high with these. You're trying to choose something that you can do even on your shittest day when you're feeling really bad. Like something, and then at the end of the week, if you've done these like five things, then you can basically be happy with yourself. And um, yeah, it just got me to realise I've been making too big a meal of this whole business, really. You know, just thinking about it all the time, thinking I need to be constantly busy. But for me, the whole point trying to be self-employed and, and earn a little bit more money is to have a better quality of life. So, you know, I've been doing things like going for lovely walks every morning, looking for mushrooms and there's a lot of blackberries on these trees, which in a couple of days I'm going to have. Just trying to enjoy myself. And, you know, when you're used to a full-time job, um, it's, it's difficult to kind of get out of that mentality um but yeah this is interesting you know in these uh spiritual groups where we're talking about people are giving themselves permission to feel their feelings um and really nestle and not disassociate from painful childhood wounds for example and that's very valid but as i said in a previous video it can very quickly lead to stagnation and before you know it, months have gone ahead and um, you haven't got any further forward with your goals. And that leads to a vicious cycle where you start feeling even more shit about yourself, you know. So I want, you know, just trying to get people to think about what their KPIs, their key performance indicators or their non-negotiables might be, you know. Like for some people, it's really simple, like eat an apple every day one of mine for definite like i said at the beginning of the week was trying to adjust my sleep pattern be in bed by 10 up by six that's going all right um there was one night i didn't get to sleep till half 11 but what i've made sure to do is that the alarm clock goes off at six so i knew six and a half hours sleep is not enough but still training me into waking up at six so even today, alarm went off at six. I'll be honest, I was a little bit drunk last night. I was in bed by about half nine. I still laid in bed for an hour, but I was still up by seven. And what's interesting is I didn't actually fall back to sleep. I kind of naturally just woke up just before the alarm went off. And um, for me, that's, that's a value that I'm striving to keep. I think at the moment, even if I'm invited out or to parties, I, I want to be back early because I'm not the same person if I if I haven't had enough sleep or I've slept outside of my circadian rhythm 
The next one that I'm not hitting would have to be drink three litres of water. You know, people say drink two litres of water a day. Um, but I've used one of these body weight calculators and I'm quite a small guy and I definitely need three. And if I drink three, wow, a couple of three days on the trot, feeling amazing. But um, yeah, I think if any of you are in this, you know, dark, dark night of the soul energy and you're feeling a bit shit at the minute, you might just be having a, worth having a think about giving yourself a list of five things that you can do no matter what within it. It doesn't matter when, as long as they get done and what's going to move you forward. And if anyone's listening, I'd be really interested to find out what your five things would be.